Well, good morning ladies and gentlemen. Here we are on uh, Mandy's new motorcycle. And it's, uh, it's a Honda this time. She's uh, got rid of her Suzuki Bandit and uh, got herself one of these VFR 800 thingies. And it's, uh, it's very nice. It's very nice indeed. Well, I say she got it. I bought it for Christmas. I mean, traded in her old bike. She didn't know anything about it. I just woke her up and said, guess who's got a new mic? A new motorcycle. And she said, oh. I said, but you haven't got the bandit anymore. She said, oh, well, oh, well. See, she's that heartless, you see. She's that like, heartless that she doesn't care. But it is an absolute beautiful uh, motorcycle. I'm just trying it now for the first time. I've not been out on it. And uh, I thought I'll give it a little try and um, see how we get on. And uh, yeah, it's lovely. It's lovely. Absolutely immaculate. And uh, we've got it for a good price, I think. Um, not too many miles, 11,000 miles, so that's not not a lot, is it? And uh... oh yes, those uh, variable valves, is it? Variable valve timing, I just kicked in there. I think uh, it's a little lovely. So, like that, I'm just going for a short ride round the brush. I can't really go that far, but I'll stop uh, somewhere here and. Uh, let you have a look. Uh, I've taken the top boxes off mainly because um, when uh, Mandy rode it home and got it to the garage, um, I uh, pressed the button to release the top box and it flew off and it scratched it terribly and I've ruined it, I'm afraid, and uh, I broke the um, bit severe on the gears there. Um, I broke the uh, the latch on the top box as well, so I um, had a look on eBay and I found uh, another replacement that's uh, exactly the same for uh, £99, so that was a complete fuck up that's cost me £99. So, uh, yes, at least I'm back in good books. She did, she wasn't bothered, you know. All things amendable, but I wasn't going to buy her a, a motorcycle and then have scratches on it, and I've done it myself, you know, so. Uh, there's a gear indicator on this thing, I don't know. I'm just going to take it up to where I normally park my bikes for a little watch round, a little look round. I don't think I've done one on the FJR yet, but uh, I ought to, really. Um, here's a little shout-out to my friend over in uh, New Zealand. Um, there's Dean Field, I think he's in it. Dean Field, I'll put his name below. A lovely chap from New Zealand, and he's got an FJR. And he's also got one of those um, uh, three, three really things that, like Sam Smith has. Uh, uh, what are they called? Um, bloody, bloody... Very nice for the kid, anyway. And he's a lovely motor vlogger. And uh, if you would like to subscribe to him, I recommend him highly. So check out Dean Field. He's a lovely chap, very funny. And um, uh, and it's lovely to see his roads over there. They're absolutely marvellous. I, I've, I said to him, have you checked out Volgnit? Volgnit is from your end of the world, you know. New Zealand, where they make lamb. I think they make lamb out of sheep, don't they? But anyway. Um, it's very good, very nice part of the country, um, or the world rather, and uh, somewhere I would love to go myself, I must admit, yeah, absolutely. I believe um, my, my lovely friend um, Dave Russell, the uh, instructor from Northern Ireland, he, he's got one of these as well, hasn't he? And uh, I, he's probably grimacing at my uh, riding skills at the moment on this thing. It's a bit different to what I've been riding before. Very leaned forward, but oh so balanced, what a motorcycle this is. Absolutely. And when them valves extra timing, all oh, a lovely, lovely little kick, little little bit of a, a power surge you get there, and a lovely. But you, I think you have to ride it properly, which uh, I'm not going to go mad. It's not really the weather for it, but uh, I know Dave will be out on the track soon. I'm sure. Yeah. So where's my little pull in? Is it here? It's here somewhere, isn't it? Yeah. Check me mirrors. Pull in here. Okay. Uh, bring it around. It's very small, very small indeed. So I can't see because the bloody uh, my visor's down. And it's all smoked up. Yeah, so this will do. Park it here. Hopefully, no one moan. Where's the fucking side stand? Where's it put that? I suppose it's something you get used to. I think I'm trying to put the main stand down. Oh, it's already down. I've already done it. Stupid boy. 
make sure it doesn't sink into the ground. So yes, uh, let's put my bloody visor up. But look at this, look at this. What a nice piece of kit that is, yes. It's a Honda VFR 800, 2008, 11,000 miles on it. Lovely condition. I think the previous owner didn't do many miles on it at all. I think it's something like 20 or 200, something like that. There's not two in it. But, uh, yes, lovely. It is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. I mean, I, I can't really do it justice, can I? But Yes, that's very nice. And we're out in the deepest parts of Leicestershire here, so I'm going to turn it off now. We've got this Honda Hiss system. Can you hear me? I haven't got my microphone down. That was silly, wasn't it? Yeah, so there's my tackle. <laughs> and there's some twisty roads, which we like. Just down the road. Just down the road from where we live. I just wanted to get it, get on this. It's this lovely. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. And we've got the full luggage, as I say, and uh, so we can go touring and um, have a marvellous time somewhere else. There we go, Len Manchester Motorcycles, Melton Mobile. If you want a good deal, go and check them out. They're marvellous chaps, marvellous, marvellous. I want to look at the f bloody... You can't see it. There's a farmer on a tractor with a dog chasing the sheep around. What is that meant? Is that to give them some exercise, do you think? Or is he moving them into the next field where the next load of sheep are? A big pile of dung. I always uh, let them warm up a bit before I get on. Start her up then. Is there a gear indicator? I haven't got my reading glasses on. Odo. Odo. Fuel. Time. Miles. Temperature. Select and reset and whatever. I just imagine we'll have to have a look at the book, see what's what. Right, off we go back home. Nothing coming. Good. Ah. Oh. Uh. Are you getting wind noise? I think I am, so I'm just going to put this bit down a bit. Uh, it's filthy, this uh, visor, but... Uh, yeah. I don't want to go mad, because it's, it's not mine, and uh, although I am insured to ride it, it's not mine, and uh, the luck I've been having lately, I'll probably <laughs> drop the thing, you know. I don't want to do anything like that, just uh, take my time and uh, enjoy the ride. Yes. But this uh, little back road I have here is lovely, lovely. Little, uh, lovely little turns and twists and cambers and things. Felt the back end go a little bit then, so we've got a little bit of mud in the road again. There's not really an open straight. I can, uh, you know, really open her up. Um, but the mirrors are very good. You can see everything. Cattle. You sort of see these signs saying cattle and you're sort of praying that there aren't any. Because, um, if there was a road full of cattle then you'd, you'd sort of worry a bit, wouldn't you? Yeah. Actually very comfortable. I'm not putting any weight on these bars at all. I thought I would be but uh, just using your midriff and, uh, you know, your bum, it sort of rides itself, rides itself, doesn't it? Uh, 
Another chap here in a big car, taking all the road up. That's a, a cyclist, so it's uh, acceptable. Looking over the hills now, over the bends and everything. I could overtake him, shall I? No, the cyclist there. Don't want to scare him. I haven't got full sight. So I'm just going to wait till we get right past this hedge where I can see and then I'm going to go past. And there she kicks in, you see, lovely. Lovely little bit of a power surge coming in there. Oh, Gigi, Gigi. Let's pull the clutch in there. And again. Plenty of people out for a walk. A cyclist here. Oh, it's lovely. It corners beautifully. Watch for the pedos and any cars may, may be overtaking them. Nothing. And down into a 30. 